Hi and welcome to my time. I'm Stephen and I'm in the library today. We're going to be making alcohol ink art coasters. So for this we're using tiles. So I've got four tiles. I've got some alcohol ink. So these are actually refills for the Copic markers. So we're going to use them. We've got some blending solution. So this is just um, same ink that's in the alcohol ink, it's just colourless. All right, then we've got some rubbing alcohol and we have pinata brass alcohol ink. So all this is, is alcohol ink, but it's got a metallic brass colour in it. All right, so let's get started. Oh, and I've also got a hand blower. So this is just to move the alcohol ink art around. I've got a plastic cup a pipette and some paper towel okay okay so to get started we're going to just wash the tiles down with rubbing alcohol so for this you just splash the rubbing alcohol onto the tiles use some paper towel and this just removes any of the dust or the particles that you don't want to be sealed with the alcohol ink all right And now the tiles are all clean and ready to go. So we have three colours. We've got a light blue, a dark blue, and then a purple. Quite a deep purple. But we could add more alcohol to make that a lighter purple. So we can dilute it a little bit more. Alrighty, so to start off with, I'm just going to put some rubbing alcohol. So I put it into a bottle with a fine tip nozzle on it, just for easy application. Alright, so this is a very loose style art, so there's no particular way to do it, it's just having fun. Alright, so to start off with, we're going to use the lighter blue and we just want to put a couple of dots onto the centre, well, the centre of the four tiles. So in the end, I'm hoping to put them together like this and they make one piece of uh, if that makes sense. All right, now a dash of the pinata brass in the middle. This just creates a metallic sheen. All right, and then you want to use your blower and very slowly just blow the alcohol ink around. Now the reason we're using a tile is because it's a glossy surface, so instead of the alcohol sticking to areas that you don't want, this gives it a surface that you can then yeah, easily move the alcohol ink around. Now if you make a mistake or you do something that you don't like, you can always just put alcohol on it again and clear off whatever you don't like. Alright, so... Gonna just move this around, all right? And then I'm going to add a drop of the purple right into the center. I'm gonna do one at a time to start off with. All right, and now if you feel that the alcohol ink isn't actually flowing, you can just add a little bit more of the clear rubbing alcohol. Move it all around. Okay. All right. So we want them all to end up looking like this. Okay. So with the next one. Blowing it out. I'm going to add a drop of purple to that one. 
And with this, I'm going to add a little bit more of the brass right into the center of the purple. And then a couple of droplets of the clear alcohol. And then just blow that around. Now, I find this very therapeutic because there isn't any right or wrong way. It's just more alcohol, more ink, and then just moving it around. It's very loose and fluid, but creates a really nice effect in the end. All right, so these two now. Add a drop more purple. and a little bit more of the clear alcohol and I'm going to add a little bit more blue to this one Now you can also use a, if you don't have a blower, you can use a hair dryer or anything similar. Um, you just don't want to hold the hair dryer too close because it will burn the alcohol. Um, but yeah. And don't be concerned if you do get it onto the bench because it does come off quite easily. You just need to have your alcohol to clean it up off the surface. All right. So... Nearly done. We'll do a drop of purple into the center of this one and then add some more clear alcohol and then blow it around. So alcohol ink carts become really popular lately. Um, there's lots of Facebook pages and YouTube videos on how to do it. Um, yeah, it's, it's very similar to watercolor. Um, with the looseness of the style of art that it is. Um, but it's a lot more vibrant than watercolour. So watercolours can be quite toned down. However, alcohol ink is really pigmented um, and gives you that intense colour. All right, so can you see the metallic sheen? All right. See, so if you have them all together now, it flows. It's a, fl it's a very loose style art. Um, yeah. So to be able to use these with as drink coasters, you need to varnish them. So I generally use a Krylon clear matte finish varnish. So with that, I'll allow this to dry now for two days and then I just spray it with two coats of the clear varnish. Um, if you wanted to actually use them for cups of tea and hot drinks, you have to either coat them in resin or something similar to that. But these, how they are, will be fine for cold drinks and anything like that, as long as you varnish them after. If not, you can also put these into a photo frame um, and have them as a piece of art on your wall. Just give you a close-up, so just so you can see the metallic in there yeah so yeah if you're not happy with how they've turned out you can always just get your paper towel clear alcohol and that will just simply wipe off and there'll be no traces that there was any color on the tile and that's the joy of using the ceramic tile so yeah alrighty well I hope you give this a go thank you so much for joining us um, Hopefully we can start having my time back in the library rather than doing a virtual program um, and we will eventually do this. So I'll get tiles and everything. So we're all fine to do it. All right. Cool. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.